Welcome to Tips Over Tea with Renu Mehra. Today my team and me had a tough time selecting the question because we had so many of them. Well, the one that we have chosen for you today, I'm sure is going to benefit you and me under the present circumstances. So here we go. This question comes from Anurag Srivastava. He writes, I joined a well-known company 6 months ago as a mid-level manager. There were five other people who joined at the same post as me. 3 months down, the lockdown happened. Since then, have been working from home and connected virtually through Skype, etc. The people in office were just getting to know my capability. I am a hard worker and have good subject knowledge. Now there is a rumor that the company may retain only two of the newly appointed managers. What can I do virtually that can help me become the chosen one? I am truly worried. Yes, Anurag, a lot of us are facing the same problem. First things first. Please understand the decision to retain you or let you go may not necessarily be your immediate bosses there might be other people involved in this decision making who do not know you that well but could have a meeting with you in such a case perceptions make a huge difference so what can we do to be perceived nicely first thing appear smart appear casual it's okay you are working from home but please do not appear careless you can ask me what exactly is casual sitting at home i would say casual is directly dependent upon what was your official dress code when you went to office if you were expected to come in a business suit you possibly cannot wear a vest and attend a meeting just because you are sitting at home other than that a collar always helps even a small collar like what i am wearing gives you power choose your shirts well you can choose pink stripes even happy colored pink stripes please do not wear shirts which make you look extremely casual and distract the attention from you like you can see this check over here actually takes the attention away from you if you want to wear a plaid or a check invest in plaids which are small whites are always a favorite and they look good any time of the year light colors pastel colors also work very well so choose your shirt wisely if your profession demands keep a tie pre knotted and ready and just slip it on before the meeting ladies you can use a dupatta or you can use a scarf and quickly knot it even if you are wearing a round neck and make a four collar and sit in front of the camera see i begin to look professional all of a sudden remember those 15 minutes to an hour in front of the camera can either make you or break you If you were allowed to wear t-shirts while you were working, you can do the same even while sitting at home. One thing you can avoid is to wear t-shirts which look extremely casual with too many bright colors and very sporty as if you are just going to step out for a jog. Even these big logos are distracting. So a very good idea is to wear t-shirts with collars in neutral colors even if you want to wear a bright color it's okay but in that case make sure that the logo is not distracting and is rather small a big no no for t-shirts is to wear a t-shirt with a round collar or a v neck and a slogan across the chest what happens when there is a slogan across the chest people tend to concentrate on the slogan rather than what you are saying and you definitely do not want that also look groomed 
have your hair neatly tied up ladies gentlemen if you have a beard have it trimmed that look which says just out of bed is not going to do you any good when you look presentable what happens people on the other side perceive you as disciplined crisp and sharp and believe that is exactly how you must be conducting your work next thing keep your background and the table around you very neat and organized no extra books no extra used cups of tea and no piles of clothes in the background they give a very unorganized look please look methodical let's go down to your posture sit erect try and make eye contact even though the person is on the other side of the screen do not fiddle with objects that you have in your hand and worst thing do not slouch 20 minutes down the meeting people often tend to sort of put their weight all on one side or even lean back in the chair and play with the chair this is something which distracts the other person so look alert when you look alert and your posture is good people believe that you are capable and you are confident anything that you want to communicate make sure that you have a list ready make all your pointers and keep them handy first thing listen to what they are saying listening is very important next pull out your list and read it one by one the perception that people have when you do so is that this person is very analytical he actually takes pains to understand what is expected of him and that goes a long way lastly keep upgrading your knowledge there are so many webinars and courses that you can do sitting at home and make sure that you inform your company through an email about whatever you are doing again it lets them believe that you adapt to change very fast and that you are a quick learner such perceptions will always hold you in good stead believe me if you follow these little tips that i am giving you i'm sure you are going to be the chosen one wish you the very best and anurag do let us know how you fared and for all of you we are waiting for your questions at renu at renumhera image consulting dot com we look forward to them till then be positive and keep your energy going